billions of dollars. Where's that money coming from? Is it coming from us? Am I paying taxes <laughs> to bail out these mega corporations? Like, it's just, it's mind boggling. It's like, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know if I have a political analysis about it, except like, we just need some working class solidarity. And there needs to be like organizing, not just for indigenous nations, but like there needs to be organizing across the board in this entire region to push back against these corporations because they're, they're literally, they're just stealing our future. <laughs> and they have been for decades without any checks whatsoever from the government. And, and now they want us to bail them out with billions of dollars. I, you know, there's no consequences. There's no consequences for, for the theft. So it doesn't just happen with land. It also happens with water. And I think that's an incredible, it's incredibly stark in the Southwest. I mean, I keep saying here, but I don't live in the Southwest anymore, but you know, my nation is from the Southwest. That's my home. And so this is why I'm so passionate and fired up about it. I think Nicole Horseherder, who is a prominent kind of water advocate and an activist in Navajo Nation, um, who lives up on Black Mesa, Nicole Horseherder said, you know, the Indian Wars didn't end, you know, in the 19th century, they just changed. And now it's like water, water is the primary way in which dispossession, the dispossession of indigenous sovereignty, power, um, and autonomy is occurring. And it's incredibly important for people to understand that this complex um, kind of picture around water really is like the modern day Indian Wars. And it's the modern, it's the way that possess dispossession is happening primarily. That, and I would say like incarceration and carcerality. And I, I don't know what that means in terms of activism or organizing, but like I said, there needs to be some sort of class-based struggle against these ruling class fucks <laughs> who have stolen our future because of this. 40 million people, 40 million people. <laughs>